Hey guys, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C12 license, also known as the Earthwork and Paving Contractor license. So the C12 license covers a variety of different job titles and a lot of times it can be referred to in a lot of different ways. You might hear the paving license, you might hear paving contractors, asphalt contractors, earthwork contractors, earth moving contractors, excavation construction, excava excavation companies, grading contractors, land clearing services, land grading, driveway contractors, paving specialists. These are all terms that pretty much fall under the C12 earthwork and paving contractor license. So an earthwork and paving contractor digs, moves, and places materials forming the surface of the earth other than water in such a manner that a cut, fill, excavation, grade, trench, backfill, or tunnel, if incidental thereto, can be executed, including the use of explosives for these purposes. This classification includes the mixing, fabricating, and placing of paving, and any other surfacing materials. And this definition is straight from the CSLB website. And the CSLB is the Contractor State License Board, which is the governing body for construction contractors in California. So basically, if you're looking to do, if you're looking to charge over $500 for any type of earthwork and paving services, you've got to have the C12 license. So how long does it take to get the C12 license? You're looking at about 90 days. Now, the time of year, whether you have a criminal history or whether your application is put up for further review can all add time to that 90 days and make it take a lot longer than that. But generally, you're looking at about a six to eight week application processing time and then maybe another three to four weeks before you actually go and take your contractor license test. Now, what are the basic requirements for the C12 license? You've got to be at least 18 years of age. You've got to have a valid driver's license or USAID. You've got to have a social security or ITIN number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Now, the C12 license requirements uh, are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience that has to be within the last 10 years. And a journeyman level contractor is somebody who has performed all the duties associated with earthwork and paving. They've done it unsupervised. Um, and then they have somebody who can sign off on that experience. So there's got to be somebody other than yourself that can verify that you've actually done this type of work. And you've got to be able to document your experience if the state board asks you to document it. Now, who can sign off on your experience? A general contractor can sign off on your experience, a C12 license holder, a foreman or supervisor, a fellow journeyman or fellow employee, somebody within the last 10 years. It has to be somebody that you've worked with in the last 10 years. Or it could be a business associate. Any one of these people could sign off and verify the experience that you have. Now, filling out your contractor license application, this is very important. The Contractor State License Board will require your qualifying person, so whoever you choose to verify your experience, they have to provide a brief description of the experience. The way the, ex the experience is described is very important. So, for example, you know, Alex has a lot of experience. It's just not going to be accepted. The CSLB is going to want to see Alex has done backfilling, digging, soil grouting, injection grouting, soil stabilization, grading, and operating heavy machinery. So that's kind of what they're going to want to see. It's got to be very descriptive. So that's something you're going to want to remember when you're filling out your application. So what is on the contractor license test? There's going to be two parts. There's going to be 115 questions on law. There'll be another 115 questions specific to earthwork and paving. You'll have three hours to complete each portion. It's a multiple choice exam, and it's done on site on a computer. And you can bring a translator if you need to. Now, on the C12 license portion of the test, 23% of the exam is going to be planning and estimation. 35% of the test is going to be earthwork and grade control. 22% is going to be paving and 20% is going to be specifically on safety. 
So, you know, I would suggest that you go and check out our website if you're looking for a deeper look at what's going to be on the exam. But this is pretty much a snapshot of what's going to be on the trade portion of the exam. So after you pass the C12 license test, you'll know whether you pass right there on the spot. You'll get your results right there immediately. Uh, you can retake the exam. Usually you have to pass it within six months, but you usually can take it within three weeks. I've seen situations where people take it sooner than that, but generally, you know, they'll give you a retake within three weeks. You've got to pay a license activation fee and a contract, and you've got to provide a contractor bond number. And then usually you get your contractor license card in the mail within usually about two to three weeks. Now, how much does it cost? There's a state application fee. There's going to be a license activation fee. And then you pay a renewal fee every two years. You've got to pay for fingerprinting. And then there's a contractor bond fee. Now, I've got a separate video on the contractor bond. Um, you know, And then I've got a video on the current fees that you'll definitely want to check out. You'll see it at the end of this video. Um, but basically, you know, getting the C12 license, it's a very smooth process if you have the correct information. So if you know how to fill out the application, if you know what's going to be on the exam, then you should have no problem getting your C12 license. Um, again, fill out the application correctly. You know, it's very important that you know how to fill out this application. Um, so you'll definitely want to, you know, refer to the, the resources that we have available to help you with that. But, you know, my name is Zach from digitalconstructive.com. You know, thank you for watching. If you have any videos that you want to see us make, drop it in the comments. Give us a like, um, you know, share the video if you think it'll help somebody. And again, you know, digitalconstructive.com. My name is Zach and thanks for watching.